Hey guys, so this is a Pixel K DMD, and this particular one is specifically designed for an At Games Legends pinball cabinet. So the, the width of this is exactly matches the back glass on the stock At Games pinball cabinet. So just to give you a feel for what it looks on the side there, there's a top view. On the bottom, its mounting is really easy. So basically there's a couple brackets here on the bottom. You're just gonna use that and then just use the included wood screw here just to mount that, just screw that directly into the back of the back glass box. And then on the back, just use the USB cable, just like all Pixel K devices, Pixel K LED connects over USB, plug that directly into your device. So that is the uh, topper. Now let's show you, now let me show you how to install this guy. All right, so here's a side view, so you don't have to do this, but I always like to drill a pilot hole first. That's always better. So just do one last check. Make sure it's lined up the way you want it. And then I'm just going to drill a pilot hole right here. Do the same thing on the other side. Find that pilot hole and just screw it in. Okay, let's go to the other side. So nice and sturdy, not going to go anywhere. And then now just connect the five volt power supply. Uh, this is very important because if you've used um, BitPixel in the past, which is an AtGames product, that actually runs off 12 volts. So be very careful not to use the 12 volt power supply with Pixelcade. Pixelcade runs off five volts that will fry the board, unfortunately. And lastly, let's just connect the USB cable. Um, on this USB cable, out of the box, we ship a six foot cable, which should be long enough to get to your device. But if you need 10 foot, just let us know in the order notes and we can swap that out with a 10 foot cable. That's not a problem. And then on the board, by default, just double check this, but by default, this is set to the, if you look at the board USB position, there's a little toggle switch right here. And uh, you don't want this pointing to the BT position. So make sure that's pointing down towards USB. It's that way by default, so you shouldn't have to do it, but I always like people to check that just to be on the safe side. And that's pretty much it.